Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you guys saw my previous video, I did mention in there that I um, will be starting with my Nissan 1400 Bucky project and behind the scenes and behind the camera, I've made so much progress and I've gotten so much done that I've been putting off. Today, I already started with cleaning up some parts, painting some parts, which I'll show you guys in the next few clips. Like I said, I made some nice uh, progress and um, yeah, let me just show you guys what I've done earlier. What you guys saw was me obviously cleaning up the parts laying there all of this to assemble the leaf springs and the duff to put the rear suspension back in but i actually forgot to spray this cover and i want to just spray the, the back cover so that the duff is all done but i'll spray this quickly then i'll show you guys how the duff looks complete with the cover sprayed silver and the duff fully in black and then i also need to still spray the drums but yeah this should be quick after this, I want to get everything tied up, um, put everything back together and hopefully get the duff into the bucket. I am alone today, so we'll see if I can manage to get the duff in the bucket with just me being here. But yeah, enjoy. guys the duff is all painted black entire duff and then the back cover like i said i made silver i think it looks quite nice and it's gonna look quite nice under the bucket as well so the next step for me is to mount the, the leaf springs over there onto the duff and then somehow try and slide it under the bucket to fit it but for now, I'm just gonna put you guys on the stand and then I'm gonna assemble everything if I remember how to <laughs> assemble it correctly. But I think I'll figure it out. Everything on the duff is now all assembled and ready to go in. So I need to now attempt to get this thing onto the trolley over here and then slide it under the bucket so I can just jack it up and tie it down. So yeah, wish me luck guys. I don't exactly know how I'm gonna get this done on my own, but I'm sure I can get it done. It's not a trench mess, it's just quite heavy to keep it up to tie it down and to get it into place, but I'm sure I can manage. Perfect.
So guys, it's a new day. It's a new week actually. Last week I ended up getting the entire bucket assembled, putting the, the duff in as you guys saw in the clips. I even put the wheels on um, off camera because it got a little bit dark and like you guys know, I'm alone or I was alone. So I was a bit pressed for time, so I just put the wheels on, get the bucket on the floor. I actually want to show you guys what I got done or just give you guys a young update because I did get quite a lot done. As you guys can see here, the wheels are back on the bucket and the bucket is on the floor. I did manage to get the duff in, like I said. At the moment, it's a little bit dirty here because of where it's some unexpected rain last night and obviously the bucket is standing under the tree. So I'm not too worried about that. I did, however, install those um, leaf spring, I don't know what you call it, the cup, I guess, the wrong way around because that little nipple over there for the sock is supposed to be on this side of the duff. So I do need to change that around. And um, the duff is tied in. I didn't tie the props off in because I still plan to take out the engine and the gearbox. So that is going to have to come out again. I just needed to get the wheels on so that we can actually move the bucky around now. So that's a good thing. And then another thing that I'm really excited about is besides the dent over there, yeah, we are marked that they're supposed to go a bumper corner. And this was body followed by the previous owner. And I'm obviously not happy about it. I do have OEM corners that I got from a subscriber probably two and a half, three years ago. And um, this is what it looks like with the body filler chopped off. So there's a big indent that was body filler closed. There is a rust spot over here, but this I'll fix. And then OEM bumper corners, new tail lights. This thing is going to look so nice when it's done. Dean is here today. So yeah let's see what we can get done so with that being said guys that is it for what i wanted to get done in the first video of the bucket the rear end is a big was a big big job for me and as you guys know if you are a subscriber to the channel i've cut and welded so much i spent so much time on this bucket's rear in that i can't just do it quick fast and just pluck it spook and pluck it so for now we're trying to get it as neat as we possibly can it's not a show car it is going to be a daily driver but i want it to be as neat as possible and as rust protected as possible because these things tend to rust and um yeah i think what we've done so far is a big step towards um my goal for the bucky and i hope you guys enjoyed it so just a little word of encouragement that i needed to hear this morning guys is that even though you aren't where you want to be if you look back where you are now is probably what you prayed for a year ago, two years ago, or however long ago. And all you need to do is just keep pushing towards your goal. Because at the end of the day, you might not realize the progress that you are making every day. But every 1% counts. A goal isn't big enough if it doesn't scare you. If it doesn't scare the shit out of you. So keep dreaming big, keep pushing, keep moving forward and trust the process. That's it for today's video guys, I had a few more things planned, but unfortunately I'm already at work. So with that being said, see you guys in the next one. Dean, stay safe.